Welcome to our virtual Bible adventures. We're sad that you can't be with us to live the Bible adventures. So we're bringing them to you. So let's head back in time and meet Bible characters to discover what the adventures were really like. Are you ready? This week, we're going to learn that no matter what, Jesus loves you. And you can share that love from Jesus with others. Every day, we'll explore a different story from God's Word, the Bible. And every story is totally true. Did you get some stickers ready for today? If not, go ahead and pause us, and we'll wait for you to get some stickers. Any stickers. You ready? When I say go, put a sticker on yourself, on your face, your arm, or even your leg. Then you can gently place a sticker on any siblings with you while they can gently place a sticker on you. And here are the rules. No stickers on clothes, eyes, or any adults or quasi-adults watching with you. And no running or being ready, rough. Ready? Go! Okay, looks like we're good with stickers. Let's go ahead and sit down. So many spots. Look at all of you. How many spots? Spots everywhere. Um, here. I think I need to talk to you. I'm gonna bring Jordan over here. Listen, I'm not sure how to tell you this, but I don't think these are ordinary spots. Ooh. I'm really afraid those spots are leprosy. <laughs> oh no! Leprosy in Bible times is a terrible disease. It's very contagious. People with leprosy aren't allowed to be around other people. So I'm sorry, if you two have the spots, you really need to stay over there. We don't have spots, but you do. Yeah, I'm gonna use my scarf to make sure you stay away from us. So no crossing the line, guys. Okay. It's really too bad you got leprosy right just now. Because Jesus is expected to come through any time now. I guess you'll get left out and won't get to see him. In fact, you'll be left out of lots of things because of your leprosy. If you have leprosy, you can't hang out with your best friend. You know, that sounds really familiar. Everything going on today with the coronavirus, I miss my best friends. Why don't you take a minute right now and think about who you're missing hanging out with? Another thing is you won't be able to do fun things with your family and friends either. I know that this summer, I'm missing all of you at VBS here at church. I miss summer baseball, hanging out with my friends, going to church. I like to play fun games with my friends. And I can still play with you. Just go back over there. Sorry though, but you're going to get left out. Out spots didn't want to go anywhere near people with spots. And that's you, by the way. So when people without spots came near a leper, the leper had to shout, unclean, unclean, to warn the people to stay away. Can you shout that with me? Unclean, unclean. unclean. Lepers in today's Bible story must have felt sad and embarrassed, completely left out. It was too bad. Because on this particular day, Jesus was expected to come through town. 
everyone had heard of Jesus. Jesus was a man who had been doing miracles all over the land, healing people everywhere he went. Everyone wanted to see him, but the lepers didn't have a chance. Finally, Jesus came into view, and everyone was there. Nearby, at a distance, stood ten lepers. It was weird. Those lepers weren't shouting the right thing. They were supposed to be shouting, unclean, unclean. But instead, they were calling out this. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And then Jesus did something that people thought would, probably thought was weird. Everyone else ran away from the lepers. But Jesus stopped. Jesus didn't turn his back on them. He didn't ignore them. He actually talked to them. And then Jesus did something even more weird and surprising. He did something miraculous. He told the lepers to go show themselves to the priests. And that was only done when people were healed of a disease. Just as those ten lepers were walking away, they looked down and they were healed. No more leprosy. Go ahead and remove the stickers from yourself. Here, pick up the scar. They can come hang out with us. There's no more spots. You can heal. The lepers were left out until Jesus showed them his love. We're all left out sometimes, and it hurts. It really hurts. But even when you're left out, Jesus loves you. Jesus didn't shut out the lepers, even when everyone else did. And he'll never shut us out either. He loves us all the time. And nothing, absolutely nothing can change that. We can share Jesus' love for us to those feeling left out this summer due to the coronavirus. You can call or video chat with your grandparents and tell them how much you miss them. You can write a letter or draw a picture for a friend and ask your parents to help mail them. You can also draw a picture and have your parents help you send it to a nursing home or a hospital to let those who are not feeling well know that through Jesus' love, you love them too. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope you can join us again tomorrow for another Bible story.